Hello and welcome to Change Management Made Easy, a video series providing best practice advice for getting change management right. This is brought to you by Change Proud, a change management training and resources platform. In this episode, we're going to be helping you understand how to write a case for change. So what is the case for change? The case for change is essentially your business case for your change program or project. And it's ultimately what you would write before you begin to go into delivery and execution of your change project. So it's usually something that's required upfront in order to, to get funding, in order to get resourcing and investment, and in order for the, for the business to understand what the, the, the case is for creating this change, for implementing it, why it's needed, and therefore why the business needs to invest time, resources, money, et cetera, in, in helping it to be achieved. So your business case um, is something you therefore want agreed and signed off upfront so that everybody knows and agrees what kind of investment will be going into this change project or program before it begins. So the types of things you wanna cover are the business rationale, Absolutely. So why is it required? Why do we need to go through this change? Um, what are the consequences of not doing it? So what are the risks and the things that we're going to have to um, accept if we don't go through this change? Um, what's the value? So you really want to try and articulate some of those KPIs. What's the actual return on investment here? Um, why we need to do this, the value for the business. You want to have some sense of the vision um, and some sense of the time frames, expected activities. All of that will basically help you to be really clear on the money you might need, so the investment up front, um, the resources that you might need, whether that be you know, external help or that the help that the business is going to have to put into this alongside BAU activity. You know, that's a big factor. Um, you know, implementing any change or transformation is usually going to create some level of disruption across the business as people need to get their time, time taken out of the day job um, to help deliver the change. Um, it can be a really useful resource as well for when you're then onboarding individuals into the program and it can really help with leadership alignment so that you've got a key um, document to refer back to when looking at the rationale for the program and providing evidence if at a later date you need to talk about you know where the investment came from who agreed to the funding why you've got the resources that you've got etc you've got that kind of evidence that's been signed off and and looked at by key stakeholders so that everyone's in agreement as to taking this change forward and, and delivering the program when writing your case for change i think it's also helpful just to bear in mind the type of change you're implementing and in a really simple sense here, just think of it in terms of is it tactical at one end of the spectrum or transformational at the other end of the spectrum? And how big is the gap between these, you know, in terms of the desired ways of working that you're looking to create? So if it's tactical, it's usually kind of smaller scale change that's focused on improving or solving particular problems or issues. It could be gradual, small improvements over time. If it's transformational, however, it's likely to be on a larger scale I'm going to take more effort and resource, more time out of the business, more complex change, complex stakeholder landscape, etc. So really thinking about how you ground your, your case for change in either of these to help you articulate why if we really want transformational change, you know, we're going to have to invest more. It's going to be a bigger lift for the business. More effort, time and resources will be needed. If you found this video helpful, for more easy to use and accessible change management training resources and templates, please visit ChangeProud. Thank you for watching.